Hello, I'm Ryan Johnson, Chief Engineer at Vans Aircraft. With me today is Design Engineer Brian Hickman. The engineering team at Vans Aircraft has refined its analysis of select RV aircraft structures, where replacing laser cut parts would result in a significant time burden to the builder. Our goal was to assess alternatives to replacing parts, to develop procedures and techniques to simplify the replacement process, and to determine through further analysis when parts replacement is not necessary. Over time, we've changed the status of certain laser cut parts as the engineering team has progressed through this process. The classification of a given part is based on the probability of fatigue cracks forming in service, using very conservative assumptions around how the aircraft is used. More information about testing and service life is available at the link in the description below. We hold critical airframe parts to a very high standard. Through our analysis, these parts must have proven to have a very long service life, well in excess of the service life of any airplane. In addition, the surrounding structure must retain a redundant load path in case an unanticipated fatigue crack ever develops. Brian has been directly involved with finalizing this analysis for our builders and we'll speak to it in further detail. Brian? We've completed a more refined assessment of the RV-10 and RV-14 structures after conducting finite element analysis and mechanical testing of specific parts and assemblies. As a result, we have reclassified 17 fuselage components from replacement recommended to acceptable for use across the RV-10 and 14. Where our analysis continues to indicate a location in the structure that is more susceptible to fatigue or redundancy is not present in the base design, we continue to recommend replacement of the laser cut parts with a CNC punched version. Our analysis of the RV-8 fuselage gearbox assembly is ongoing and additional information for that model will be published at the end of June. Optionally, where we could reduce the workload for builders by providing an alternative to part replacement, we develop solutions that ensure the structure's strength and durability meets or exceeds that of the original design. We did this using additional components, strategic replacement of fasteners, or newly designed components and related procedures that simplify part replacement. We've written service letters that require ongoing inspections on an annual basis until the laser cut parts are replaced or the modifications outlined are completed. Currently, this includes a time of compliance set at or before 1,000 hours. As we gain fleet experience with laser cut components, the 1,000 hour limit may extend. All necessary parts and hardware are being provided at no cost. The first solution we'd like to review is for the RV-10 and 14 wings. They are covered in service letters 89 and 92. We developed a solution that greatly simplifies the replacement of parts, which includes new and revised parts, as well as hardware for installation in a completed assembly. We estimate the time needed to complete these changes is three hours for an aircraft at the quick build stage. The solution adds negligible weight for the wing structure. Next is the RV-10 fuselage solution. This is covered in service letter 96. The solution includes removal of the outboard most rivet in the rear spar bulkhead and replacement with a larger diameter bolt. That faster is the most highly loaded due to the vertical forces related to the wing attachment. Tension through this structure is not a concern as the design utilizes a continuous strap from wing to wing. This solution includes no new parts. It is accomplished using provided hardware and a template used to modify the hole that the flap torque tube passes through to allow tool access. We estimate that the time to complete these changes is two hours for an aircraft at the quick build stage. And again, the solution adds a negligible amount of weight to the fuselage structure. Next is the RV-14 fuselage solution. This is covered in service letter 100. This solution includes part replacement, additional components, and strategic replacement of hardware. The service letter is comprised of three sections. You will complete the sections applicable to your kit based on the landing gear type and the specific list of laser cut parts installed in your kit. Section one covers the rear spar bulkhead assembly. This outlines the addition of machined components and doublers to reduce fastener loads and to provide a redundant load path for the rear spar attach. Section two covers changes in the forward section of the center tunnel. This outlines the replacement of certain highly loaded fasteners and the addition of fasteners to help distribute the load from the nose gear. Section three covers the aft gear brace assembly. This outlines the addition of components that reduce fastener loads and provide a redundant load path into the bottom skin. 
If all of the changes are required for your specific kit, we estimate the time to complete the changes is eight hours for an aircraft at the quick build stage. And it will add one and a half pounds to the fuselage structure. For the RV-8 fuselage kit, we are continuing to analyze the stress levels within the gearbox assembly to determine whether any potentially laser cut components require replacement or modification. More information about this solution will be available at the end of June. We provided a link in the description below that directs you to more information. Thank you, and we look forward to speaking with you again soon.